All right, guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, like and subscribe, it'll help me out. Uh, but anyways, uh, today's video is gonna be going over the My Key settings in the 2018 and up Mustangs. Uh, I'm not sure if the 2018 and below is have it. But what that is, is you use both of your key fobs and you can program one with limitations if you have like a kid that's gonna borrow your Mustang or somebody gonna borrow your Mustang, you can set a speed limit, you can set speed warnings, and you can set like volume control and a few other things. Um, but that's what we're gonna be talking about. So just make sure you have your key fobs and then we'll go over the video. Uh, and here we go. All right, so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be going into pony mode and I believe it is under, let's see here. It is actually gonna be in the settings, under advanced settings, my key setup, and then we're gonna create one. Anyways, to start off, we need to pull out, well, my cup holder's dirty. I still need to clean the inside of this, um, but there's this little tab right here. So we lift this out and it's not the most convenient to pull out I mean to be fair you're not going to use this all the time and I believe you set the key in there like that with the metal part sticking up and we'll go in here to create my key we'll hold this key restricted at next key cycle yep so we're going to restrict this my key status We've got one admin key, one my key, 911 assist user so selectable, or you can set it to always on, advanced track, advanced track, always on, user selectable, do not disturb, always on, that's like, so somebody doesn't get phone calls or anything while they're driving your car. Max speed, 80 miles an hour. We're gonna actually set this, so the lowest you can go is 65, the highest you can go is 80. Um, now remember that setting this to 65 here in Oklahoma at least there are some speed limits that are 80 so you don't want to make somebody unsafe in your car so just keep that in mind but for right now for the highway that I'm at I'm gonna set it to 65 because we're gonna see if it actually works or not speed reminder um, let's go ahead and set this to 45 just to see if it goes off volume limiter uh, I guess that will control that and then that looks like that's all the settings I thought honestly thought there would be more um, but anyways let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna turn the car off just in case and we're gonna stick this one in the trunk in my backpack so that it doesn't register um, and then I'm gonna hook the GoPro up and we're gonna go see if this actually works um, so we'll be right back all right, we got the limited key, um, the key with the restrictions on it. So we're gonna go try this out um, and see, we're just gonna go see what happens, see if it works. Uh, we can try the volume. Volume does not seem to be limited like it said it was going to be, unless I didn't do that part right. Uh, We'll see if the speed part is at least right. All right, here's the test. No speed warning. No restriction on the speed limit. All right, so the my key thing didn't work. So I'm gonna take the spare key. I'm gonna set it over there, away from the car. Come start the car with this, and then we're gonna give it another shot. So let's go ahead and turn the car off. And we're gonna set that right there. And we're gonna start the car again. Set this in my pocket. Okay, so we finally have the my key working. Uh, the restricted key started the car. It should be restricted. We'll test it with the volume because the volume should be restri restricted. The max is usually 30, so let's see what it goes up to. All right, 
right, it goes to 14, so that works. Um, what else, what else? So the volume's restricted, um, the speed. So we should get a speed warning at 45 miles an hour and the car should stop at 65 miles an hour. So we're gonna go test that now. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, skip forward to that part. Another thing we can test is if the, if with the my key, if we can go into advanced settings and uh, turn off that, because uh, we shouldn't be able to. But we'll go ahead and skip forward. Um, we'll do the speed test, see if it shuts off at 65, and then um, we'll test that part. I've noticed it's not letting me turn off cruise control. I can go from normal cruise to adaptive. Uh, it does let me turn off the lane keep though. Um, so that's, it didn't say anywhere in that that it would do that. Uh, so I'm curious like what other stuff is restricted in here. Uh, 45 mile an hour speed warning yep got the speed warning 65 oh yep it shut off so cannot go past 65 so it does work so you know if you're letting your your kid borrow this for prom night or uh, and it keeps throwing that check speed warning um, and it tells you when you're near your top speed. So yeah, if your kid's gonna borrow this for prom night or if somebody's borrowing this that you don't fully trust and you're just being nice, um, you know, you can set them 65 miles an hour. You can throw that speed warning on there. Uh, it'll get on their nerves and maybe they won't go past it because it keeps giving me that, uh, telling me that I have a speed warning and that I'm close to my top speed limit. Uh, it also doesn't let you turn off cruise control for some reason, so maybe it just doesn't want you messing with it. Which, what is this? So, there's that. Oh, that's the, that's not cruise control. That is your distance indicator for how close you are to somebody. Yeah, the car really bogs down when you get close to 65 miles an hour. Like once you hit 60, there is no acceleration. So you can accelerate all the way up to be all the way up to 60, but then it's like you're hitting a brick wall. It just stops. And I guess uh, you can either have your cruise on, or you can have this uh, distance indicator with the next car. And now I gotta try to figure out because I limited myself to speed. I gotta try to figure out how to get past this. So definitely. Um, if somebody's gonna be driving on highways like this, I, yes, the speed limit is 65 on this highway, uh, but I would at least set it to 75 so they have that cushion to accelerate safely and get around people. Um, that's just my suggestion, uh, cause that right there, uh, I couldn't really go anywhere to you know, make room for myself to get over or make room for the other car to get over. Now, if they're gonna be driving on streets like this, where the speed limit is 45 miles an hour, then yes, 65 is good. You don't want them going 65 on roads like this anyways, um, but 65 is the lowest you can go. And 80, I mean, like I said, there's highways around here that are 80, so um, that's just there for that. I don't think there's really any highways that I know of in the United States that go over 80, but if that's the case, you know, you can't limit somebody for that parking um, and we're gonna see if we can if it allows me to get into that my key setting and remove it because um, you know if you're letting somebody borrow this and you have it set that you obviously don't want them to take those restrictions off so let's put this in park and let's try that real quick so if we go to advanced settings we go to my key my key status all it does is show the status and the miles driven. Um, so yeah, you can see how many miles somebody has went with your car. Uh, 
but that's that and then i'm gonna reset it obviously because i don't have anybody that's gonna borrow this car um so you probably just stick this back in here you will bring your administrative key back start the car and clear out the keys and then you'd be good to go so i'm gonna do that real quick because i don't like the speed limit so see you guys